William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com, and with the college basketball season officially in the books, we're going to look forward towards next year. Uh, and the blueprint that was provided by Tyus Jones, Justice Winslow, and of course Jaleel Okafor uh, with Duke winning the national title, Kentucky winning the national title just a few years ago with so many freshmen. Uh, really, freshmen, as we know, are a big-time part of the top players' conversation every year. So, with Tyus Jones winning MOP, Most Outstanding Player, I wanted to look at five potential guys next year that are going into programs that have a chance to get to the Final Four, a chance to win a title, and of course that are talented enough uh, to really compete for such an award that could win it uh, in 2016. And I want to start with Isaiah Briscoe. He is going to Kentucky. He's a lead guard. Uh, going to be given the reins next year, I believe, in Lexington by John Calipari. Uh, he's either going to play right alongside Ulysses and be more of a scorer, or really going to take the starting spot from Ulysses and be more of a creator, distributor, and get his teammates involved, much like Tyus Jones did for much of this year for Duke, but certainly with the ability to step up and score when needed. Another guy to keep an eye on is going to be Jalen Brown. Uh, of course, one of the top two players in the country. This guy's out of Georgia. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where he picks to go to school. Uh, North Carolina is right in that conversation. Uh, a lot of people have liked Kentucky, UCLA at times, Cal even trending. Uh, if he goes to Kentucky... If he goes somewhere like North Carolina, wherever he goes, this guy's going to be a dynamic player. Without a doubt, he has a chance to lead his team to the Final Four. Definitely a name, definitely a player that has a chance to make a name for himself and a reputation that lasts beyond his four years, or probably one year, in college and off to the NBA. Uh, so another guy that I want to look at, of course, is going to be Diamond Stone. Uh, makes the commitment to Maryland just a few days ago. With the news that Melo Trimble is coming back for his sophomore season, the Terps are loaded. Let's be honest, they are loaded right now. Uh, and so they're going to be, a, in my opinion, a top five team entering next season uh, with what they have coming back. That's a legitimate Final Four contender there in College Park for Mark Turgeon. And if they make it there, of course, Melo Trimble is an MOP candidate in himself. But this is about the freshman. Diamond Stone is that kind of player. I truly believe uh, that he could make the Terps kind of a next level type of team. Uh, another guy I want to look at actually is going to be Chase Cheater heading to Duke. Uh, this guy is going to step up into the shoes left by Jaleel Okafor. And I'm going to talk about him more later in a feature that we'll be running called Recruit and Return. But Jeter is a high-level athlete, high-level functional skill set, really one of those dynamic guys uh, that you need to watch out for every year in the post at Duke. And they develop their bigs as well as anybody in the country. Uh, the last name that I kind of want to look at, and this one is a little bit off the radar, uh, somebody that I wanted to go with off the radar, would be Alonzo Trier at Arizona. Now, Arizona is exactly thought of as a big-time Final Four contender for next year, given that so many of their current players are expected to go pro. But what they have coming in, there is talent. There's going to be talent left over. Arizona is always going to be in the mix when Sean Miller is down in Tucson. Alonzo Trier is a big-time, big-time, big-time scorer. And when you can put the ball in the bucket, you got a chance to win any number of awards. I expect if Arizona makes that run, Alonzo Trier is going to be a big part of it, and he would be an MLP candidate as just a freshman. So those are my guys. Check them out. Do a little research. Go on Rivals.com. Check out their profiles. Learn a little bit about these kids because you're going to need to know their names coming next November.